Hey guys, let's color a color wheel. So there are three primary colors, and they're the ones you have to start with. In this color wheel, they're the large circles. So we've got red, yellow, and blue. So to test if a color is the color you want, I would just do it on the background. That is a little light, I think, for a true red, but sometimes they're kind of hard to find in crayons. So if you can find a red, like that would be a better red, go ahead and use it. But if you can't find a red, this one would still count, like you could still color with this color, and I wouldn't say that it's wrong. Color in your red circle. Okay, now I'm going to do the yellow circle. Yellow is pretty easy to find. Usually if it looks like yellow, it's going to work as yellow. <laughs> color in your yellow circle. Okay, now I'm going to go to blue. If you need to, test it. I see that one's purple. It looked blue to me, but it ended up being purple, so don't use that. Oh, here we go, light. Okay, so then we're going to make our mixes. When two colors go together that are primary, they become a secondary color. So when red and yellow mix, they make orange. You can either find an orange crayon, or you can color the red and the yellow on top of each other and let them mix. I'm going to go ahead and use the orange crayon. When red and blue mix, they make purple. I have that purple I found a second ago. That looks blue, but it's actually purple. Okay, and then when yellow and blue mix, they make green. Now you might notice there's in between colors. These are colors that are a mix of a primary and a secondary. So like when red and orange get mixed, they make red orange. And so that's fun, something fun for you to try, is to mix the two colors. So find your red crayon and your orange crayon for this one. Color lightly the first color. And then go over it the second color. They will mix and make a new color. So this color is not completely red and it's not completely orange, it is red orange. About red purple.
purple. You might have a darker blue, that's okay. This is just the blue that I could find in my crayons. And yellow green and yellow orange. Let's see. Okay, here is my color wheel. I've got the three primary colors, red, yellow, and blue. The three secondary colors, orange, green, and purple. And on, in between colors, made by mixing. So down here, this is a value scale. And so you pick a color. Let's say we want to do a green value scale. And you'd color it in the middle box, just normal. Now value scale is to make things darker and lighter. Do so you make it darker, it's called a shade, where you add more black. You make it lighter, you add more white. So for the black ones, we just need a base coating of the green. So we can kind of just color them all in. And then we're going to have to find a black. Ooh. Get some on the table, you can rub it off. Anyway, then we'll have to find a black crayon to go over this. Now on the white side though, since our paper is already white, we can just use the paper and color lighter and lighter. So this square is going to stay white. This is going to be light, light green, and this one's going to be a little light green. So let's make this box lighter than the main middle box, but not all the way light. So you can see the white of the paper showing through, and this green is lighter than that green. Then make one more that's even lighter, barely touching. Okay, so then we've got white, light green, a little darker, regular color. This one's going to be a little darker, a little darker, and that's going to be all the way black. So I need a black color. This one's going to be, oh my gosh, sorry, this one's going to be all the way black, or as dark as I can get it. Okay, it's going to be pretty dark, but you can still see the green. And then this one's just going to be a little dark. There we have a green value scale.
Now the color wheel wouldn't have to be in this order. This is just the way I've labeled it. If you wanted to start with blue at the top and have these be red and yellow, that would work also. It's a wheel, so as long as it's going around in a circle, it should work fine. But just so you don't get confused, try to copy the way I've done it on yours. Okay guys, 